So R, R Nouveau, again, it was a new um, movement and it was to do with the organic. You, you can always tell because it's lots of fluid lines, say a branch or a tree that extends out into a piece of furniture. So that's the theory behind the Art Nouveau styling. And then the deco was a completely different movement in the sense that suddenly you've got industrialization, geometric patterning, styles, straight lines, cutting things down rather than opening them up to more organic form. So organic, industrial, those are the two kind of comparisons. So this is a typical, beautiful Art Deco bronze, circa 1930 French, and it's Lavrov on side on the back. It's Again, if you look at it carefully, it's stylized ever so slightly. So it's, although it looks to you and me exactly like a tiger, mm -hmm. that some of the lines have just been cut down so that there's a bit of shaping, and that makes it, for me, very much an Art Deco piece. But this is, I mean, I've literally just bought this. I still have to find a bit more out about this, but this is a typical mid-19th century Animalia lion very realistic and beautiful but complete contrast realism of 19th century animalia um, still very beautiful stylized art deco pared down lines so here we've got this is a fremier i love fremier french sort of 19th century fantastic bronze and this is apparently napoleon's horse possibly and quite a rare thing actually again fremier's work 1870s, very realistic and beautifully cast bronzes. René Lalique is very popular, and um, this is kind of the sort of classic example of a René Lalique vase. Dates from about, is it 1931, 1926, something the first ones were made, and with these beautiful birds that give you that feeling of romance and uh, again it's not a strong art deco form but very iconic and very much a 1930s piece very popular at the moment um, and people absolutely love the opalescence that you can see in the sort of chests of the birds and the fact that they're together in a rather romantic way aren't they and again here you've got this wonderful design in a René Lalique vase where initially you just see these spirals and then you realize it's not just a spiral it's actually a an antelope or an ibex or something, and it's picked up with this lovely opalescence that you get. The vase again here, a bit more modern looking, again from the 1930s, an actinia vase, fantastic shape, sort of like a, again, a bit taken from, from the sea or from rippling waves. I love that. Strong, strong opalescence. So this penguin lamp, I don't know, we have to turn it on to see it properly, but I think that's a lot of fun. This is French, 1930s. You've got a family of penguins. Now, we know that male and female penguins look after their, their young together. But here we've got a whole family together, which is very different from the reality. So that's humanising them slightly. Wonderful to see the sort of Antarctic um, mountains in the background. And um, I think this works very well as a fun lamp um, and typical 30s sort of ingenuity. Great piece. That. So this is this is a 1930s original piece. Again, we don't know enough about it. I've never seen it before. It's amazing it survived with all these amazing sort of um, stylish glass uh, hangings there. It's probably a base metal, not 100% copper. And um, but it works really well as a very stylish 1930s lamp, doesn't it? <laughs>